My name's Tom Robinson. I'm a fourth year Maths with Modern Languages student. I've been a UCL undergraduate since 2011 and I'm running for Welfare and International Officer. Hi, I'm David Hunter. I'm standing for Welfare and International Officer. I'm currently a fourth year SELC's postgrad research student and I've been at UCL since 2011. Uh, hi, I'm Dominic Meehan. I'm a third year psychology student here at UCL and I'm running to be the next Welfare and International Officer. Hi there, my name is Rebecca Turret Drake. I'm running for the Welfare and International Officer. Um, I'm studying Natural Sciences. I'm majoring in Psychology and Neuroscience and I'm now in my fourth year. So hi, my name is Emma Zürcher um, and I'm running for Welfare and International Officer this year. I'm a second year history student at UCL. I'm originally from the Netherlands, um, have lived in France before and I'm really looking forward to the elections this year. Hi, I'm running for the position as Welfare and International Officer um, because I've absolutely loved my time here at UCL and I want all students to feel like they can really engage both with their academic work and also, also the extracurricular activities and really make the most of their time here at UCL. I'm running for Welfare and International Officer because I, as an international student, have experienced that there's many things that can still be changed for the better at ECL, um, but also being involved in society life at ECL, being involved in clubs, has taught me and introduced me to so many people who also experience dif uh, difficulties and who also want to see things changed. Um, so I think that being a very sociable, approachable, but also very persistent person, I can um, be the right person to bring this change about at UCL. So welfare is something that affects every part of the student experience at UCL and I think it's the position with possibly one of the greatest opportunities to change the experience of the everyday student. And I think it's also a potentially really good campaigning platform because all of the welfare issues at UCL, um, so things like um, access to healthcare, access to mental health care, experiences of study, um, all of those are things where perhaps we could demand more from UCL than we currently are doing, where I think really big systematic problems exist and they need to be changed. And I think that this position has a unique opportunity to combine all of the liberation things, all of the things that the liberation campaigns are doing, and campaigning experience, access to resources, and use them to really fight for push for students at UCL. So I think it's something that you can't go to UCL without being affected by your experience of welfare. And of course, if you're an international student, even more so, because international students are experiencing unique challenges, um, especially regarding, regarding welfare. International students are a large part of the student body. Um, they're often ignored, like postgraduate students, for example, are as well. And so I think it's something that really combines a lot of different parts of being a student and um, that perhaps isn't addressed in the way it should be. I think the, the role of Welfare International Officer is probably the most important role in UCLU because I think that's the purpose of a union, to look after its members. Especially at the moment with all of the threats that students face in the way of cuts and issues in terms of their welfare, I think that a Welfare International Officer is, is imperative to student life. Um, I think it's so important, especially being a London-based university, um, that we tackle some of the things that students find stressful, such as um, living in London, which is a very dynamic environment, um, the high costs of living here, the academic pressure of being at UCL, um, moving away from home and thinking about what you're going to do in the future. There's, there's so many reasons why students might find it overwhelming. Um, so it's really important that we have um, really great welfare and support for all students. And um, in particular, I'd really like to continue the work of Leah Francis, the previous um, Welfare and International Officer, in raising awareness for mental health and making sure that we provide the best services here at UCL. Um, as to why I'm running for it, I think I've always had a lot of concerns about welfare and I don't think I've done enough about them. Um, I've got some strong ideals, but I haven't really got involved in terms of union politics until about this year and I haven't particularly liked what I've seen. Um, students face threats everywhere, um, UCL's welfare policies aren't particularly good uh, and as a result we're behind a lot of other universities in that regard and I'd like to change that. Uh, Leah Francis, the current Welfare International Officer, has done an incredible job in turning the mental health services around at UCL amongst other things and I think that's made a big difference but there's still a long way to go. I'm running for this role to ensure that UCL is a welcoming and supportive environment for all students from all backgrounds and the role is very important because it 
covers so many issues that affect the whole UCL community. All right, so um, I'm originally from the Netherlands. I came here two years ago and before that lived in France for a while. Um, so I think I'm quite familiar with um, coming to different cultures and I've seen that it's for some people, but for most people, um, it can be so hard to find a place in a new society. It can be so hard to feel like you fit in culturally. So I think that's where we need to really focus um, on how we can make everyone feel integrated and everyone feel like they're part of the university. I've been studying on and off for over 10 years. I was previously at the University of York where I did my BA French and German. As part of that I spent a year abroad in France and Germany. Years later I did a taught postgrad degree at a Dutch university. So I have experienced life as an international student, even though I'm from the UK. So I'm actually not an international student, as you may have guessed myself. Uh, I'm from the exotic land of Morden in South London. Um, but I still think that I've had some sort of experiences. As a Londoner going to UCL, you tend to be the point of contact for a lot of people in terms of what they should do and learning the ways of life in London. Um, and I like to think that I gave a lot of people help throughout my life in halls and and throughout my university career. Um, and I think that's the kind of experience I can bring to that. I think there's an issue in terms of expecting a single international student to understand the worries and concerns of every type of international student from all different countries. I like to think that from my background, I'll be able to provide support and help to international students from everywhere. Um, so I am from London. I'm not an international student. However, I've been really aware of the challenges and um, the opportunities that international students have whilst they're studying. I was um, a roommate of a Malaysian girl during my first year and I hugely benefited from um, just living with her and working with her. Um, and I was also um, an international exchange student during my third year in Canada. Um, and I had an amazing experience out there, but I also um, was aware of different challenges that people faced living such a long way from home. And some of the schemes that they provided out there, they actually had people living in the halls of residence specifically to look after the students' welfare and um, events throughout the year, such as Thanksgiving, um, social events and um, Chinese New Year celebrations that really just helped um, international students to integrate. Um, therefore, I just would love to be able to befriend international students um, at UCL. So I'm not an international student, I'm a home student, I'm from rural East Yorkshire, never go there. Um, I did spend three months studying abroad, which was great, but not perhaps an, a comparable experience. I think that it's really important to represent international students because international students' issues are often the flashpoint of where government policy and cuts can hit hardest. So for example, if we look at the um, planned policy to charge international students every year for NHS use, which um, the coalition government is talking about introducing, I believe, after the next election, that is somewhere where you need somebody who can lead anti-cuts campaigns, who can organise among students um, in a campaigning style. So um, I think that regarding student welfare, we have an absolute crisis in how we deal with students with mental health problems. The psychological services are chronically underfunded and many people don't know that they exist. And even if they did know that they existed, the services wouldn't be able to afford to help them in the way that is best for them. Right, so I think there are four key areas. The first being accommodation, because in recent years the fees have gone up to really high levels and there's been no increase in quality. In fact, quality has got worse with periods of no hot water heating or electricity in some of the UCL residences. And I've actually lived in a UCL residence since starting my current degree in 2011. So like so many, so many of you, it's clearly, I feel it's clearly very unacceptable. There are three main things which I would love to do if I was um, given the position of welfare and international officer. Um, firstly, as I mentioned, I'd really love to continue the work of Leah Francis, so it's um, imperative that we develop the, the counselling services here provided at UCL. Um, and there's a certain number of schemes that she's implemented which I would really like to just further develop. 
Um, there's a group for those who struggle with eating disorders called Student Minds, um, and it'd be great to provide more um, student-led groups such as that one. For example, for people studying with um, suffering from anxiety disorders, or um, depression, or insomnia. Um, those are all different areas and student groups that could be developed. Um, secondly, we work with a charity called Rethink, um, who empower students to befriend um, those who they know who are struggling with mental health problems. I think that's such an important way of engaging with those who are, are struggling um, because you, you don't often always want to go and talk to someone professional but you're quite happy to speak to your friends so it's just a, a really great way of making sure that people people's needs, needs are met here at UCL. Okay, so I think the, uh, the job of Welfare International this year is going to be absolutely huge. Um, from supporting campaigns like Fossil Free and Stop the Rent Hike, which I think are incredibly important to increasing welfare, to making a small difference. There are just certain things that other universities do that we don't. Everything from subsidised breakfast during exam period to having affordable halls and I think there's a lot of difference there to be made and that's where I kind of want to focus things, actually making a difference, making real visible changes to all students. Alright, so um, in my manifesto as well I've brought up several points which I think are absolutely crucial to make um, life at UCL better for international students but also the general welfare. Um, for example, we need to fight for the rents to be reduced, we need to fight for a better mental health care because that's something that especially affects international students because they are so much more prone to, to problems because they're alone usually when they come here and because they have um, to, like, they have to feel welcome within an entirely new culture. Um, but also we need to change the GP accessibility, we need to make sure that there's more provisions for disabled students um, and something small like lockers, we do need that because there's so many commuting students at UCL. I also want an overhaul of the personal tutor system because in my experience personal tutors don't have mandatory training around things that might affect students. So for example mental health issues, disability, LGBT plus issues, homelessness. These are things that happen to a surprisingly large amount of UCL students. For international students I'd make sure that um, you're in school and welcome part of the community and encourage you to take part in as many activities as possible from clubs and societies to student networks and support groups. I'd also try to ensure that all the bureaucracy is clearly laid out so it's as painless for you as possible. Secondly, I would love to um, really help international students integrate and just make sure that they are provided with the warmest welcome here at UCL. Um, so there's a third of all students here at UCL are international students um, and so we're so benefited just by working and living alongside people from across the world and um, I think it would be awesome if we set up um, a buddy system so that um, students who are international could link up with those home students um, and be helped with their academic work but also just share their culture with each other. Um, and this has been really effective as the mums and dads schemes within the medics um, department. So it'd be great to have this for international I think students. also housing has a huge impact on student welfare at UCL. Our rents are ridiculously high. You can pay hundreds of pounds a week for a room. The standards aren't great. The cleanliness isn't great. You hear stories of broken down boilers, pest infestations, rats, cockroaches. In my first year, a guy's carpet was so damp, mushrooms grew in it and they had to take it away and incinerate it. And yet you're paying absolutely through the nose. What I want is a reduction in rent. I am aware that UCL keeps paying its top paid staff more and more. I don't think that's right when student rents are going up and pricing people out of coming here. I think this university should be somewhere where every student can come, regardless of financial income, regardless of parental income, regardless of background. I'm very keen to support um, students represented by liberation officers and support the liberation officers in their jobs. Uh, again, in everything from promoting uh, LGBT month, which I would definitely like to have a greater presence on campus. Um, to supporting the, uh, the current fight to protect the disabled students allowance. I think there's every type of student at UCL is currently in desperate need of some kind of help, whether they know it or not. Uh, the way UCL is treating its students definitely needs to be defended against. Um, and also 
Um, unfortunately, uh, compared to other universities, UCL is quite behind in terms of some of the support they do provide uh, for those uh, suffering from mental health disorders. Um, at Oxford University, they have a peer-to-peer -peer support counselling service. Um, so students who uh, are interested in counselling are selected um, and then trained up to, to support their peers. And that is something which would be really beneficial here at UCL, where funding is limited, but we could um, get more students involved who perhaps have had friends or family who've um, struggled with these issues and who would be willing to support their students. So that would be the first thing that I'd really love to do is just um, improve mental health services provided here. Also, a very underrepresented issue at university level is bullying and intimidation, which can have a very profound impact on studies, social life, um, mental health and general well-being, including triggering things like eating disorders, drug and alcohol abuse. And then the biggest challenge I can say for all UCL students is um, living and studying here in London, Britain's most expensive city on a tiny budget. And that's not helped by substantial course and accommodation fees. So to alleviate that, I'd produce a guide to show you how to save money and make as much, make as most of what you got as possible. It would be updated regularly, so, and I would encourage students from all backgrounds to have input. I also believe strongly in free education and I want to use this as a campaigning platform for free education for a fee freeze for international students so that they can know how much money they're going to be spending in the next year and plan accordingly and for a fee reduction and fee abolition. This is possible, it's been done in Germany where they don't have tuition fees and as part of that overhaul to education, I want a liberated curriculum which represents women's achievements, BME people's achievements, disabled people's achievements and LGBT plus people's achievements and isn't the same thing that we learn over and over again which isn't representative at all of world history and world experiences.